Hi, I'm here with a stroke survivor, Shepherdine. Hi, Shepherdine. Hi, how are you? Good. Our members have said that they would like to meet more people with aphasia, so I wanted to introduce them to you. How long have you had aphasia? Uh, one eight, one and an year. One and a half. One and a half. Mm -hmm. One and a half years. Okay. And where do you live, Shepherdine? New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. So you and I see each other actually quite a bit. Where mm -hmm. do we see each other? We see each other on dance. On dance between words. Yep. And chat. Open chat, which is virtual yeah. connections. Uh. And I know you attend some of the other virtual connections. Women's, women's. The women's open chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so for those people that haven't met with us on Zoom, do you think that meeting other people on Zoom has been helpful for you? I meet um, ARC all the world in, um, um, in the the United States and um, England, mm -hmm. Israel, Israel, um, Poland, uh, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> so you you have enjoyed meeting people from all around the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. So on Tuesdays, I usually see you at this, which is dance. our, yeah. our dance, mm -hmm. dance class, which is at two o'clock every Tuesday. Eastern yeah. Standard Time, and we we always promote that here on Aphasia Recovery Connection. It's an event. You don't have to pre-register. One of the other programs that I see you every Sunday, in fact, we're recording this on a Sunday, I see you at is Open Chat. Open Chat. So Open Chat is a virtual connections call. Virtual Connections is a program between Lingraphica and Aphasia Recovery Connection, and we have over 50 volunteers, most mm -hmm. of whom are speech therapists or music therapists, running sessions every day of the week. Mm -hmm. And I see you every Sunday at Open Chat. I'm going to ask you, why do you like to go to Open Chat every Sunday? I see you there every week. Why? <laughs> I, I like to speak to... Um volunteer i like to speak um what 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 what, what feelings i the confident confidence in the speech confidence in the speech so it gives you a place to practice practice and the more practice the more confident you become and i also think um when we are all together i'm the only one there that doesn't have aphasia and usually we have 30 to 50 people with aphasia on a call and they're all there to practice, practice, practice. And, but we don't stay in that great big room, right? You go in small rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So usually how many people are in those smaller rooms? Uh, four to five, six, no, four to five. Yeah. yeah. And it gives you a chance to practice because we often mm -hmm. say on open chat that you have to use it to yeah. improve lose, it lose, yeah lose, and, lose, lose it and mm -hmm. if yeah and if you don't use it you might lose it so lose it. it's important mm -hmm. i think that people with aphasia realize that practicing is so important practice every day <laughs> so every day that's great advice practice every day do you have other advice for people with aphasia what would you share with them um slow i I um ahead of me you can't ahead of you slow pace slow the pace slow the pace slow the pace so you're talking about other people should slow the pace mm -hmm. other people who oh, zoom he um <laughs> um um he's zoom um too well he no um this press no slow 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 yeah. i encourage you slow 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 mm -hmm. so i think that's really good advice so you're suggesting that people with aphasia should self-advocate and tell others please be patient and slow 
down. Yeah, it slows yeah. down. Yeah, mm -hmm. slow down. And then mm -hmm. also that background noise, I think, is is an issue for many. Does background noise bother you, Shepherdine? Yes, yeah, yeah. My my uh, cousin, the talk, 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 talk. I, uh, I, yeah, can li list, I quiet, I quiet, yeah. So it's hard when people are talking too fast or there's too, too much fast, commotion. Yeah. yeah, I can't qu catch. Yeah. Can't catch. catch. Mm -hmm. So that reminds me of um, a caregiver wrote to me and said that their loved one came home and they came from a big family and everybody's trying to visit and the, the loved one is trying to say, no, please yeah. don't yeah. have so many people. Right. And you would agree with that, right? Right. Not mm -hmm. so many people. It's, 25 family. Mm -hmm. It's too much. Right? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, Shepardine, it's been nice chatting with you. And I know our ARC Facebook members will enjoy getting to meet you. Um, I'm going to start to be posting more videos of people with aphasia. So just to recap, we met Shepardine. She had a stroke a year and a half ago. She lives in Connecticut. She mm -hmm. suggests that people self-advocate. She also mm -hmm. encouraged you to come to the Dance Between Words. Yeah. She's there All every time. <laughs> yeah, you're there every Tuesday. And on Virtual Connections, um, you're there on our open chat every Sunday. So we encourage you to look at those programs. If you're unsure of those programs, I'll put our website link and you can uh, go to our website and learn more about those programs that Shepardine is enjoying and she's meeting people from all around the world. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so join us. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Shepardine. Thank you. <laughs>